a government of Iraq or Iran or Pakistan or India and I have depleted uranium waste or I have uranium waste that has a high content of plutonium. It is a problem. It is so much a problem that people are willing, like the Department of Energy, to pay $200,000 to get that uranium processed. But if I can get it to Savannah River site, if I can get that ton of plutonium or uranium depleted fuel or spent fuel to Savannah River site, it goes from being a huge liability that I have to store for 20 years with armed guards and a huge reservation like Hanford or, or Savannah River site. It turns into an asset. It turns into a fuel that can be used to power. I can remix the fuel through the MOX, through what's called a MOX plant, and now I just turned all that weight of dead weight, or even worse than dead weight because it cost me money to store it, now I've turned it into gold or beyond gold in terms of value. That's why the FBI is trading in uranium. But, but, uranium leaves a nice four and a half billion year footprint. And, and plutonium is 200,000 times the radioactivity of uranium 238. So finally, finally, I get to do a rat line on Earth resources that leaves a long footprint. And quite frankly, I don't like doing the human, foot, human trafficking stories. You can see how I kind of, the wheels start coming off when I even start talking about 21-year-old kids or 25-year-olds going to, to prison for, for being targeted for opioids. And, and the kids, I just, the wheels fall off. So I'm back in my comfort zone, back talking about the FBI's kryptonite, uranium.